Hi, welcome back to the Outdoor Diabetic and today I'm going to do another race. Last time I did a race, you might have saw my blog, I went really high as soon as I started and that's probably because I was a little bit unfit back then and I, uh, and it just caused a sudden rise through the liver reserves. Um, you can find out more about that on my blog page, The Outdoor Diabetic. But here, I'm going to see how this run go goes. I'm going to go uphill, downhill, in the mud, in the water. Well, wish me luck. So here I am at the start of the race and uh, just taking off my insulin pump five minutes before we do the warm up. My blood glucose is at 9 mmol and uh, hopefully that's a good start. Last time when I did a race, I lowered my basal before the race, um, before to like 20 and 40% um, for two hours consecutively. And that may cause me to be to rapidly go up to 20 during the race. Um, because I, also because I wasn't that fit, my liver reserves kicked in. Hopefully this time I'm a bit fitter. <laughs> I won't rely on my liver reserves so much. And um, I didn't lower my basal before, and we'll see how I get on at the end of the race. Well, wish me luck. Three, two, one, go! Well, this is the end of my race, got 55 minutes, very, very, very hilly and painful, <laughs> but here's my medal. Well, after all that, I had like about 15 grams of glucose halfway through and I came out at 2.2, so lower than I expected, probably because of all the uphill sprints. <laughs> but find out what more on my blog, The Outdoor Diabetic, and on my Facebook page, The Outdoor Diabetic. I'll explain more about this race and more there. Bye.